Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see the easier than ever way Microsoft has provided to use our SharePoint list and convert that into the database table. This feature is in public preview right now and in this video, we are going to see how we can leverage that particular uh, public preview feature. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the demo. So right now I am in my Power Apps uh, developer environment and uh, here we have the new way or a way to create an app using the start with data option. When I click on the start with data option, it will go and load the screen something like this. So this particular screen is having multiple options to continue one is this create with SharePoint list which is the new public preview feature which is available right now so we are going to work on that part and there are different available features which are already there like creating uh, an app from the excel or csv with the blank table existing table or external data so this is the new preview feature as you can see there is a tag of preview in this particular tile and when I click on this, a new page is open where I can select a data. So in this particular environment, I already have a connection with my cell phone site. So, so it is not going to ask me for the cell phone connection, but if you are doing it for the first time, you need to go and create a new connection to your SharePoint site. Right now I already have it, so I don't need to create any connection. The next thing what I have to do is I have to enter a SharePoint site URL and there are some recent sites already been displayed in here. So the one of the site which I'm going to use for this demo purpose is this the way food chain site. And once I select this site, it is going to load all of the lists from here. So I'm going to select this employee data list and then hit next. So what it will do is it will go and analyze my SharePoint list and then it will provide me a preview of my SharePoint list as a table. We can, we can uh, configure the columns, you can rename the columns, you can change the table properties from here by using this edit table properties button as well. And also the copilot is providing some proper uh, summary of my table as at a glance a list name is employee data there are 1000 rows available with the columns 11 columns are there and right now it is previewing 1 to 20 of 1000 rows okay so as also it is saying like table description and column data type were generated by ai that is by, by default a copilot AI generated content might have mistakes, so make sure it's accurate and appropriate before using it. So if there could be an error and we have to review this before doing any changes. So these are the columns which are available in my employee data table, which are being fetched as a data host table. And if I want to change a column details, for example, if I want to change this EEID display name to ID, I can do it from here. If I want to make it required, I can do that. It's that simple. And let's say if I want to make some change in this age number, age column basically, I don't want to display the decimals. I just want to have it as an whole number. I can just simply click on update and it will update that. The same thing goes for the higher date, exit date and all that stuff. If I want to change the formatting or something, I can do that. And for this rating column also, I want to change it from decimal to whole num and click on update. So for this demo purpose, I think my table is ready now. Okay. So uh, next thing what we want to do is, okay, there is one warning on up, up here. We are already have a table with that name. So maybe I have another name with that same name. So I can provide a different name for this employee datas for example you click on save so my table name will be employees data and now i hit create app so the magic is happening now 
my data is ready my data table is ready with employee data as a table and now the app is being created with delete add update functionality the out of the box app which is available for this data was table let's wait for it to complete okay so as you can see my employee data app is ready and we have this copilot preview feature is also available in here so if you want to make any changes using the copilot we can also do that and uh, this is how much the different type of things we can do for example if you want to add a button if you want to add a text label you want to add a gallery if you want to add an email screen everything we can do using the copilot and this is a pretty functional app so let me just go and run this app so as you can see the data is available i can add and edit the data in here as well I let's say i want to change the date and click ok let's hit save and now my record is being updated so this is a pretty functional app if i want to delete a record i can do that as well if i want to create a new record i can do that if I want to search any of the record, let's say I want to search 644, that is Joshua Gupta, I can do that as well. So this is a pretty nice working app and it is also a responsive as it should be, as you can see, right? The another cool feature in here is the co-pilot is available as in preview. Let's say I want to add another screen with an email. So basically an email screen, there is a prompt already available in here. So if I just go and click on this add an email screen, a co-pilot will do its magic in the back end. And as you can see in this particular window, a new email screen has been added with the two subject and message, right? So let's see, let's see if that works or not. Let's just go and uh, it in the browser mode, window size. And let's say I want to send a mail to myself from camera app, test, let it send. A message has been sent. What I understand from this, if I open up office365.com Outlook, Outlook yes here i have that mail so it's working this is a pretty basic introduction video about the new public preview feature how we can so using which we can utilize the our sharepoint list as a data was table and create the canvas app the three page canvas app easily I hope you like this video. See you in the next one. Thank you.